What's up guys, today I am going to start with a new functionality on our application which is to upload a profile pic and for this we are going to use a JavaScript plugin called Croppy. So let me quickly show you what exactly I am looking for. Okay, so Yes, this is what we are going to uh, use. This is a JavaScript plugin which is also compatible with jQuery. And although there is no clear cut view component which I could find, but um, you know, after spending some time, I understood that it's not pretty hard. Uh, so it has an npm install, so we could very easily do that. So let's get started. You know, we will have that widget here somewhere. So the first step is basically let's first install Croppy. I'll install it through yarn. So yarn add and then Croppy. That's done. Now let us go to Sublime and create our first file, uh, the component. inside the resources assets js components let us name our component as image upload dot view these are the two blocks we have export default and for now let us type something in our component and let's first load it in our view so div what do we call it image dash uploader sorry or rather upload wrapper and image upload i will have these two classes okay and we have the component now app.js resources assets yes um i need to import that component so import image upload the path is correct image upload will come from components image upload that is fine let me copy this and yeah here we will add image upload okay next thing we need to go to our blade file and add this let us go to the profile blade it's called uh, user profile blade file okay i'll need the url for the image the default image so let me uh, quickly go to sidebar no this is the view file sidebar blade and yes this is the url i'm looking for okay this is the default image so yeah in here I have my profile pic and then body. Uh, so we'll remove that image, upload, close that. <coughs> then image or rather img URL equals, let's add this. I should get this in my component let us add that as our property so first thing which we will do is add props which is an array in this i'll get img url okay we need to make sure that we understand the convention here it is img dash url so it gets converted into a capital u after after dash any character will be capital Okay, and next thing, um, we need to import Croppy. So import Croppy from Croppy, and yeah, that should be fine. Now let us quickly see the documentation of Croppy. What does it say? We need to get an instance using something like this. Okay. So why don't we do this? 
we'll have a the mounted method okay that's where our component will set up a few things so the first thing which we will want to do is it, there will be a value called image which will be by default this dot img url that is the property there's a reason behind this i'll let you know uh, soon um, then we will have data because we have you know this already defined so we'll have to add that into data so my image by default will be null okay let's have a space there and i'm doing the return data is a function and why don't we have a set of function for crappie so this dot set up crappie okay that is a function we need to write this method so my data ends here methods is an object which will return functions okay and so what do we do with the method setup crappie we'll say let el is equal to get element by id crappie so obviously that means we need to create a div uh, something which has that id so we do that fine how do we initialize this um, it says we can there was an example where somewhere if i'm not wrong yes so we can use this you know, because it is using the vanilla javascript so where vanilla equals new crappie it is passing the element and it is using these properties as well so we can quickly use that we have the element we say this oops uh, where is it this dot crappie so we need to define this as well mm. crappie we will keep this null by default so we'll say this dot crappie is equal to new crappie we pass the element and then we pass a set of configurations the first one being viewport so this is the first parameter which is viewport um, by the way i have already you know done the rnd and that's the reason i know each and every values in that um that's why i'm simply going with the flow but yeah it took me quite a bit of time um spent about four five uh, four hours i guess uh figuring out things it took me some time yeah it was a sunday so i guess um brain was not um uh, at its peak uh, i was still in the holiday mood now show zoomer okay these are some of the properties which are there already documented um and I'm, I'm just using them if you see you know they have kept show zoomer as false i am keeping it true and yeah typically you know we have viewport which is basically this and the boundary is basically with this gray area which is 300 okay um yeah so we have the crappie set up here like this and if you see we need to bind it also to a url okay the orientation is something which uh, you know they have explained here where did it go basically you know um, custom orientation applied after exif orientation if enabled which is you know if i want to keep it unchanged if i want to flip it vertically and that's the reason if you see their example the image is basically upside down okay um so yeah i can then rotate that image as i want to anyways that's not where we are going to we need to just have that crappie started and you know start cropping some of our images and upload our profile image so the url in our bind which is this will be this dot image okay now the reason why I have this as a data property instead of the computed okay so what I wanted to do was you know when the uh, component is mounted I create this data field and I 
post my properties into this object because later on when we have the croppy enabled and in a set this image is going to change this value is going to change okay so url is this image which we are sending it as props and now let us see how we are in terms of so nw by the way nw is a short command which i have set for node watch uh, sorry npm run watch yeah that's the alias for the laravel 5.4 webpack version um, anyways yeah so i um, come to my browser open console that is the first thing i want to see okay i don't have view axios now the problem yarn add all right that was fast um still not doing it why is that happening i have this and let me refresh it again hmm strange cannot find module view axios did i do an axios or did i do view axios v u e yes axios so what's the problem let me check the package.json we have view axios and we have axios as well hmm, that's strange we are doing this doing this let me stop it and run the watch again i don't know maybe something will change a new build yeah it did okay so we have our cop croppy instance here you can see i can play around with the image i can zoom in and the image is small so i don't have much options but yeah you can see i can do something like this and yeah so our croppy is enabled um obviously this is not um 100 there we have to play around with the you know browse option and everything i'm going to show you in the next video